it's your girl Brenda Cole and I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about how I passed my nursing school entrance exam at my community college we use the ACT um, for nursing placement and you had to have at least an 18 or higher on the ACT to apply to the nursing program so that's the test that I'm most familiar with um, up until the time where I was going to apply for nursing school, my school used the T's test, but right when I was about to apply, they changed it to the ACT test, which I was happy about because I had taken in high school and scored a 21 on it because it is the test that most universities use for just college placement. So I had already taken the exam. I did take it again at my community college because they were offering it for like $30 and just to see if I can make higher than a 21 because the more points I had, um, the better my chance was to get accepted into the nursing program. I didn't score higher. I actually scored a 20, but I didn't stay at all. Um, so that's probably why my score didn't even improve. It went down a point. But I'm just going to talk about some resources in this video on how to help you score really good on your entrance exam, no matter what test that you're going to take. So I would suggest um, finding out the school that you're planning to apply for, um, find out the test that they use for their entrance exams, and then go from there on um, looking for resources to use to study for the test. So like I said, my school used the ACT, which I was happy about, so I didn't have to really retake the test because I had already scored higher than an 18. So find out um, the nursing school you're planning on applying for, the test that they use, so you'll know what you need to study for. They usually will give you like a grade on um, that you have to like make or like a score that you have to make to um, at least apply to the program. So I would also suggest finding out that score that you need to apply. And first, I would just say search online for books. Um, you can buy new books or used books. Um, look in the bookstores, look on like Facebook Marketplace for books. So my school used the ACT. So when I did take the ACT in high school, I used the official ACT prep book and I'm going to post a picture and also link it down below. Um, of course, that was years ago. So now they do have updated versions of this ACT book. Um, it includes questions and ways on to answer the questions for the test so you can also go online and they have practice tests online so i would suggest using that as a resource as well at the like official act website so this is the book that i use and the act and i want to say for all of those entrance exams they have a math section a english section reading section and a science section so you have to be very familiar with all of these types of um subjects so i would suggest studying a lot a little bit each day focus on a section each week like this week do math next do english then do reading and science to get your scores up because these tests are timed you will only have like an hour for each section you will not have all day to take this test so just keep that in mind as well do practice tests to time yourself so that you don't run out of time on these tests that was my biggest mistake like in high school i would just go in and take it i would always run out of time when they would tell us we would have like 10 15 minutes left i would have to just go down bubbling because i never had enough time for these tests if your school uses the t's or ati test there is a book that um it's like number one on amazon it's by Mometrics um test preparation and right now they have, looks like the seventh edition out of this book. And I'm going to post the picture. Um, it says it includes practice tests, over a thousand questions. Um, it also has a website where you can watch video tutorials. So I would suggest getting this book if your school uses the ATI or T's entrance exam because it has a lot of good reviews. And this definitely would be the book that I would purchase if I were to use the T's exam. 
If your school uses HESI, I would suggest using the HESI A2 um, test prep book. I'm also going to post a picture and link it below. It also has a thousand plus questions and it has some test strategies and practice questions and a comprehensive review and this is the ninth edition that's out right now you can buy new or used or you can buy older versions if you can't afford the newer versions the older versions usually go on sale so i would also suggest looking into that and if your schools are like my school they offered to take the test on campus we had to go online and do like a self-scheduling thing and come and take the test. Um, like I said, we, we were timed. We only got like an hour for each section. So we got a total of like four hours to take the test. It will be from like eight to 12 um, where we could come in and test after recording this video, I realized I didn't even go into depth on what was actually on my ACT test or the other exams. So I did um, get some pictures offline to go through what was actually on these exams. So the English portion of the ACT is going to focus on grammar and punctuation and sentence structure. So you're just going to have to know how to write your sentences correctly and know your punctuation marks. The math is going to be algebra one and two, geometry and some trigonometry. So you're going to have to know your basic algebra skills. Um, reading is going to have long passages and you're just going to have some multiple choice questions about what was in the reading section. So you're just gonna have to go back to look at what's actually in the reading sections. And the science portion on the ACT is a lot different from these other exams because the science portion only consists of graphs, charts, um, science um, little passages that you have to read and put, pretty much answer the questions based on the charts, um, graphs, and the reading sections. It's nothing to do with like anatomy, the human body, um, the cells, none of that. It's all from charts and graphs. As far as the ATI and T's exam, the math, the reading, and English from what I've read online is pretty much the same as the ACT. It's just going to be algebra, um, how to form a sentence, and like the reading portion will be just reading passages and answering the multiple choice questions. The science is a lot different though. It's going to consist of anatomy and physiology, life and physical sciences, scientific reasoning, and some other type of science questions, biology, um, chemistry even. So you actually will have to look and study um, for the science portions for these exams. Also at my community college, biology and anatomy and physiology one and two were prereqs for the nursing program. So I would even suggest waiting until you take these classes at college and then take the T's exam right after you're done with these courses. You can take the T's at any given time, but it probably would be better to take it after um, taking these full semester courses while the class and information is still fresh on your mind because that will give you an advantage and you will possibly make even higher on the exam that you would have done like versus just using the study book last i found an outline on the hesse a2 exam mathematics is pretty much the same you're going to have algebra decimal fractions multiplication division and reading will consist of reading passages and answering the multiple choice questions. English is going to go into depth on vocabulary. So they may ask about verbs and nouns and again, sentence structure and punctuation, um, knowing where commas and semicolons and all that type of stuff go. And the science portion will consist of biology. Like I said, this course was a prereq for me in nursing school. So if you're not familiar with this, I would suggest taking the actual courses first just to give you um, that heads up because biology was really hard for me. Um, chemistry, I didn't have to take chemistry at my school, but I know some nursing programs require it. So if you're not familiar with chemistry, I did take it in high school, but it was just like a simple chemistry course. So 
there is a lot of stuff on chemistry on here that I am not familiar with. So I would suggest probably taking the class if you are still confused after getting that questionnaire book and anatomy and physiology. I had to take two classes um, at my school, one and two. So you're going to pretty much go through the human body. I have heard like in previous videos that the circulatory system is the main component of this exam and they also have some physics questions which is like Newton's law, atoms, mass, light. I haven't done that since like 10th grade so yes I would suggest um, maybe taking a course if you have a hard time remembering all of this stuff for the exam. I would suggest scheduling your test like a month out. That way you can have a week per section to study and do practice tests and get your um, timing under control. So that's how I went about it. Um, I did take it at my college. Like I said, I scheduled it like a month later and I did get a practice book from our bookstore and I didn't do many questions, just a little bit. My score really didn't change. So I really um wasn't upset about it because I did make a 21 before and I could use those scores from high school because they never expire and if you can't afford books they do have like free practice questions online so I would suggest looking up like free practice tests they're also like tests you can purchase on the official websites so those are more um I guess compared to the real thing um, those tests that you can buy on the actual sites. So if you can afford it, sometimes they have coupon coupon codes that you can use to um, buy these tests. So I will also look into that if you can afford it. And you just really need to study, study, study before you take these exams because you have to pay for these tests. So I would suggest using your time to study because you're going to need to study you can't go into these tests thinking that you're going to just score like a hundred percent because it's not possible so i would suggest studying um doing a little bit each day if you do not make the score that you need um they're going to send you a report either like in the mail or emailed of your scores um, or you'll be able to like log in and you'll see like which subject you scored low in, the questions that you missed um, or the types of questions that you scored low on. So I would suggest if you don't make what you need to apply for the nursing program, look at those scores, look at what you need to work on, um, do better in these subjects, do more questions in these subjects because it's only going to help you make better in the future. So I would suggest um, just do a lot of practice questions, study. You may think it's simple, but it's kind of really hard because you haven't done this stuff since like high school. So it may be really difficult to, for you if you've been out of school for a while. So I would suggest getting these resources, um, looking online, asking people that's already in the program, like what did they use for the exams? Um, use your peers as resources, the teachers, go to the school and figure out like what do the teachers suggest that you use for these exams. So um, that's all I have today for you guys. If y'all would like any other videos from me, just comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other videos you would like to see. And I will be sure to get more content out to you guys. Thank you for watching.